Welcome along to another exciting and informative Enfield Physics Does Another A-Level Question session. This time we're looking at gravitational field strength. This is the question. Two stars of mass M and 4M are at a distance D between their centres. The resultant gravitational field strength is zero along the line between their centres at a distance Y from the centre of the star of mass M. What is the value of the ratio Y over D? What we're going to do then is to mark an imaginary point where the gravitational field strength from M is equal to the gravitational field strength from the 4M, but in the opposite direction. Now that's going to be nearer to M than to 4M because M on its own has a smaller gravitational field strength. So roughly where we've marked it. And we'll let the distance between M and the point be called Y. That will mean that the distance from the 4M star to that point is going to be the length D minus the length Y. So now we have the point where the two gravitational field strengths are equal. So now it's time to do some algebra. Let's remember that gravitational field strength can be defined as GM over R squared. So what we'll do next is work out what we could call GM, which is going to be equal to the gravitational field strength of the smaller star, which is simply going to be GM over Y squared. Remember, Y is its distance from the point. Then we'll do a similar thing for the big star, i.e. G4M. And that is going to be equal to 4GM over D minus Y squared. So now we're in a position where we have both the field strength formulas. And so we know that GM is equal to G4M. So let's set them equal. That's going to mean that GM over Y squared is equal to 4GM over dy all squared. Now let's cancel out those things which are common to both sides, i.e. the universal constant and the capital M for mass. And that'll leave us with 1 over y squared equals 4 over d minus y all squared. And at this point, you can see that it's useful to cross multiply. And this leads to d minus y squared is equal to 4y squared. What you do next depends on how much you love algebra. So perhaps your first option might be to expand the bracket d minus y all squared, in which case you get d squared plus y squared minus 2 dy equals 4y squared. Now you can get to the solution from this point, but it's going to take some algebra and possibly some going round and round for a while. But that's what most of my students opt to do. A much better route though is to notice that you've got a square on each side and therefore to take the square root of each side. If you do that, you get simply d minus y equals 2y. Ah, now that's looking much, much simpler. Rearrange that to give us that d equals 3y. Which then for means that d over y equals 3. Which means we now have to invert that to get the answer that we require. It means that y over d is 1 over 3. And as ever, that's the answer to the question. Well, as always, I hope that was useful for you. Please drop your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And let me know if there's a question you'd like me to look at. Bye for now.